box break for 2020 tops Gypsy, Gypsy Queen is April 13th 8 58 p.m. Eastern and we will start in just a few minutes hope everyone's doing well tonight I just had a couple giveaways we had our 1,000 follower on Instagram giveaway which proved to be a little difficult what's up yak says yak and we had our weekly giveaway as well and we will be giving away more spots and cards actually tomorrow night what's up Jim tomorrow night second and third place Joe Z and Jeff H will be randomized one will win a spot one will win a card and then Next week, on April 20th, we will have our third week of giveaways in April, as there will be a giveaway every week in April. <clears throat> so be sure, what's up Josie? What's up Charlie? So be sure and be subscribed, as most of you are, to RTS Sports Cards on YouTube. Make sure you're following on RTS Sports Cards on Instagram. And make sure you stay followed and subbed. Even if you're not in some breaks, as I do have giveaways. At least for the month of April, we are giving away stuff every single week. <clears throat> Guys, we do have 10 spots left in this break if anyone is interested. Let me know soon. Let you know who's in the break. Alright, JC is in the break. He actually won this. Charlie has two spots. C-A-J-E Brewster has a spot. James O has two. Jim F has one. Jeff H has two. Eddie L has a spot. Now, uh, the winner of one of the giveaways was Wild Card Breaks on... YouTube, I believe, or Instagram, and one was Wall Street Paper, so if any of those get back to me within 24 hours, they will win with the cards that they win in this break. Joe Z has a spot. James J has four spots. Uh, Gabe has a spot. John V has two spots. That leaves us with like nine or ten extra spots. Charlie's going to get an extra spot. Okay. Does anyone want to add a spot? Or does anyone watching want to get in? Have about eight spots left and we will start in just a couple minutes. Hope everyone's doing well tonight on this Monday night, April 13th, 2020. Quarantine day number 5,427. Hope everyone's staying sane and healthy and all that good jazz. What's everyone been up to? What has everyone been doing to keep themselves occupied? A lot of video games, a lot of Netflix, a lot of Amazon. What's everyone been doing? A lot of box breaks. Again, guys, we do have about eight or nine empty spots, and we will be starting in just a few minutes. So if anyone wants to... Sleeping, that's always a good thing. I wish I could sleep. If anyone wants to add a spot, or sorting cords is a good thing, too. Uh, I still have to get that box out to you, Jim. Sorry. I found the... I told you about it. I thought I didn't have the proper box. I went to the mailbox, the mail place, and they said, oh, you did have the proper box. <clears throat> Um, one more, Jeff. You got it. Best of luck to you guys. Giveaways tonight are pretty good, guys. I mean, they're not like big break good, but they're 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 pretty good. I'd give them a six out of ten. Six, seven out of ten on the giveaways tonight. So keep that in consideration. If you'd like another spot, you're not only 
getting a spot into the break, you're getting a spot into giveaway time, you're getting a spot into possibly getting into the big deal. About three minutes, Josie. Getting a spot into the big deal. Two minutes. Again, guys, we have about seven spots now. We are randomizing in two minutes, so let me know if anyone wants to add on a spot. Anyone wants to uh, get in the break that happens to be watching. Those watching, um, feel free to spectate. I am Rob the Shark of RTS Sports Cards. Uh, feel free to stick around and watch in silence, or feel free to chat it up with the rest of the people in the break. We are breaking 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen in about a minute and a half. Now, I will say, since we do have a lot of open spots, uh, I'm just going to randomize it. Uh, I will give an option to buy a couple of the teams, but I will not allow people to go into them as it's going to get too complex. And I saw in one of the last videos it took like 15 minutes time to get it all sorted. Alright guys, coming in up on the last minute to get into the break. Uh, get one randomized team you can add on. Don't forget, that is a spot into giveaway time as well. And, the big deal. And, possible free break spots. <clears throat> Alright, anyone in the chat, give me a number from 1 through 7. will be the amount of times we randomize for the teams. Anyone in the chat, give me a number from 1 through 7. What will be the amount of times we randomize for teams? Three times. Okay, I am using Wi-Fi, guys. So, if we do get cut off, because I'm using too much data, if we do get cut off, obviously I'll stop where I am. And just find a new video, and then I'll have to use data, I guess, from then on. But hopefully we don't have that problem. Okay, here we go. Three times. One. Two. And three. Take the names over there in alphabetical order, A to Z. All right, here are your team or teams. Please write them down or memorize them. Let's see if I get at least somewhat of a clear view here. Get this light for a second. All right, Arizona Diamondbacks go to Jeff H. Braves go to James J. Baltimore Orioles go to Charlie. Red Sox go unsold. Cubs go to James J. Chicago White Sox go to James O. Reds go to J. AC, maybe an Aquino for you. Indians, Eddie L. Rockies go to Wall Street Paper. Tigers go to John V. Um, Astros go unsold. Royals go to Jeff H. Angels go unsold. Dodgers go to C-A-J-E Brewster. Hopefully a Gavin Lux for you. Marlins go unsold. Brewers go to James J. Twins go to John V. Mets go to James O. Yankees going sold. A's, Jim, you got your A's. How's that? How about that? James, Jim got the A's. What the heck just happened? It just copied over there. That obviously doesn't mean anything. All right. The A's. Philadelphia Phillies going sold. Pirates going sold. Padres go to wild card breaks if he gets in touches with me. Giants go to Josie. Mariners go to Charlie. Cardinals go to Charlie. Rays go to Gabe, Rangers go to Jeff H, Blue Jays go unsold, and Nationals go to James J. Alright guys, I'll just give you just a minute or so for trades. Oh, you're working the set and you have them all? Well, maybe you want to trade the A's away. Who do you need there, Jim? Um, 
I'm going to leave the J's open. Sorry. Um, let me see if there are any teams that be willing to sell. Let me see here. Uh, the Red Sox I can do for eight dollars. Red Sox I can do for eight dollars. Angels I could do for twelve. Phillies I could do for eight. Pirates I could do for eight. And I'm gonna leave the Blue Jays unsold. Sorry. Astros are not going to be sold, unfortunately. Sorry. That's just the luck of the randomizer there. Uh, I could sell... No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to sell the Yankees, sorry. Uh, the Angels are for sale. Jeff H. is buying them. You guys can trade amongst yourselves, too. Who is the Orioles? You know, Josie, if you want to buy the Yankees for 12, you can, because you worked with me on the Mets the other day. If you want to buy them, you can, but I can't, I can't, I can't have you trade into them. Uh, Charlie's got the Orioles. I will, Joe, if you do want the Yankees, it'll be $12. All right, let's get this done pretty quickly, guys. Any trades? Anyone buying any of those teams? Get it done in the next minute or so, please. Hey, this is a sealed box of 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen. I'll glove up like a surgeon. Um, who does have the Dodgers? I think someone knew. I don't know if they're here. Uh, C-A-J-F Brewster has the Dodgers. That's actually a pretty good trade for you, Charlie. But do what you want. Jim's more about building the set. You'll say yeah? Okay. I'll put that down. And A's go to Charlie. All right, literally last minute, guys. Uh, jo Joe, are you gonna buy the uh, Yankees? Let me know. Okay, thanks, Joe. Mark in. That's it. Yeah, you know that's a pretty good. Several autographs in there, actually. Possible autographs. Several autographs. Okay. You guys can... Well, yeah, I assume... Charlie, were you trading the A's to the... Uh, were you trading the A's to Jim? For the Orioles? Alright, let me know, guys. Should I do this as a sealed box? <clears throat> okay, so Charlie has the A's, Jim has the Orioles. Here we go, guys. Best of luck. Where's the thing? That was a slit at the beginning, right? Alright, I already marked you down. Best of luck to everyone. Hopefully get something nice. 
like I said, there are some decent giveaways at the end. 2020. Tops just queen. As you guys know, we pulled a ridiculous Gavin Lux auto at a 99. I think that was our last box, wasn't it? We did some retail. We did some retail, but I think that was our last real box. <clears throat> our chrome topper. We will save to the end. And here we go. Look to everyone in the break. If I do see an auto before it hits, I'll wait to catch it to the end. <clears throat> Here we go, Aaron Nola for the Phillies. You guys all know what these cars look like. Escobar for the Diamondbacks. Allen, whose autograph we got at a Dun uh, at a Topps tribute the other day. Uh, Ricky Henderson, short print <clears throat> for the A's. Charlie. Giolito, White Sox. Eller for the Pirates. And Stella for the Angels, but a nice, what would you call it? High number short print, veteran short print. You have that one, Jim? I don't, I can't promise you, but I think I have an extra. Next pack. You have one? Okay. Alright, next pack. Here we go. Nice Brendan McKay for the Rays. Brandon's going to try and pitch and play a position. If we have a season, it's going to be the next Otani. Alberto for the Orioles. Goldschmidt for the Cardinals. Alfaro for the Marlins. Williams for the Phillies. <coughs> Josh Bell for the Pirates. Hazley for the Phillies. And Chris Davis for the A's. Two on-card autographs in this product and some chrome cards. I almost didn't even get any of this this year. Kind of did on a whim and this set is really growing on me. Especially with those parallels and on-card autographs and nice checklist. Web of the Giants. Angels, Longoria Giants. Calhoun on the Rangers. Molina for the Cardinals. I feel like an autograph's coming up. But I don't have like senses like this before, but it's a strong sense. Crawford, guess not. How do you say this guy's name? Inciarte. Oh, duh. Arozarena. Arozarena. Rookie. Raise. I butchered his name. <clears throat> yep. Prices on everything is just skyrocketing. Tribute went up like, I don't know, Tribute was supposed to be, I thought Tribute was supposed to be like 320. And it kind of came out at like 350, 375. Mm, I guess you could buy a couple left for 350, then I guarantee you they'll be 400. Alright, here we go. Dansby Swanson, Braves, Fernandez, Rookie, Cardinals, <clears throat> Lindor, Indians, Holt, Red Sox, Dean, Cardinals, Cole, Yankees, Castro, Nationals, and Bellinger, Dodgers, no autographs, <clears throat> no major rookies yet. Well, McKay's pretty good. 
the tribute, yeah. I should have. Well, I don't know. I got one in my uh, my shopping cart, basically online. Buxton Twins, <clears throat> Santana Indians, Guzman Rangers, Rookie Blue Jays, Hilliard Rockies. What do you call this card again? Posey Giants. Freed Braves <clears throat> and Edmund Cardinals. <clears throat> Love a swap. Thank you. Get to see an autograph yet. What are we going to find? Again, we had that ridiculous Gavin Lux, serial number to 99. I think it was the last hobby box we did. Weaver, Diamondbacks, Seeger, Mariners, Minter, Braves, <clears throat> Jeff McNeil, Mets, Diedrich, Reds, Arenado, Rockies, Rookie card of Chang for the Indians. And Eddie Rosario, Twins. That would be nice. I saw the one of one tarot card of Bichette got hit. <clears throat> we definitely have been on fire lately. That's pretty ridiculous. Especially for a channel that opens up like one box, usually. You got a little cold there for a while in the last couple weeks. Bader, Cardinals. Still looking for that first autograph. Bieber, Indians. I'm trying to get a spot where it doesn't autofocus. There we go. Stanton, Giancarlo version, Flaherty, Cardinals, Telez, Rowdy Telez, Blue Jays, Alzale, Cubs rookie card, Austin Meadows, Rays, and Santander for the Orioles. I don't know if you have them around you guys, but we have Santander back around here. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like every time I go to the post office, I'm like, yeah, I need to insure that one for a hundred. Oh, that one? Yeah, I need to insure that for one twenty-five. Oh, that one? Yeah, I need to insure that for two hundred. And and the, the postal guy's just looking at me like, what are you selling? Contreras Cubs, Bubba Starling, rookie card, Royals, Manny Machado, Padres, Didi Gregorius, Philly now. The world, Jordan Alvarez Astros. That's different, right? That's like a different tarot card than usual. Rookie card. Alvarez, the world. I feel like we had a different name to him. Bregman. Diaz, rookie card for the Marlins. And Calhoun for the Diamondbacks. Yeah. It seems like that's what I'm shipping with the prices I'm giving the postal guy. Seriously, like last couple days, he's like, how much on this one? I'm like, 100, 125, 150, 200. <laughs> I mean, granted, some of that is because some of it was for a few breaks. Still looking, yep, yeah, you definitely were, Josie. <laughs> Still looking, although I wasn't there at the time, because someone else delivered it, but it got there, and it was uh, insured. A's, a rookie card, Conforto, Mets. Archer, Pirates. 
Zach Collins, rookie card for the White Sox. Urena Marlins. Zach Gallen for the Diamondbacks. Lopez for the Mariners. And Bogarts, Xander type for the Red Sox. Am I wrong in thinking the world is a different tarot card than usual that we usually put? Alright, still two on-card autographs. Still. Well, it's usually, I read the thing, it's usually one high number short print, so we got that. We got the Ricky. It's usually two on-card autographs, usually two serial number cards. And like four tarot cards, something like that. Alcantara for the Marlins. I see blue. Hopefully it's an auto. Gretel for the Twins. Woodruff, which we got a serial number card of him last time. <clears throat> and France for the Padres. That's a blue card. We're going to put that in the back. Ryu, now on the Blue Jays, got traded from the Dodgers. Bauer, Reds, Reyes, Victor type in the Tigers. There's that. France, and let's see, is this an auto or a serial number card? It is just a serial number card. It is Corey Seager. I saw the Dodger and got excited. It is Corey Seager, though, for the Dodgers. C-A-J-E Brewster was his name on eBay, so if you are here, congratulations on that Corey Seager. I know you're probably looking for a Lux, but that is a nice Corey Seager serial number to 250. If you are here, congratulations if you're watching on the replay. Congratulations and welcome to RTS Sports Cards Breaks. Alright guys, moving right along. Still have two on-card autographs. Probably one more serial number card. Here we go. Acuna. Braves. David Dahl. Rockies. Alex Young. I think his name's Alex. Diamondbacks. Royals rookie pitcher. No name. Blue Jays. Fraley of the Mariners. Mondesi of the Royals. And Dubon rookie card Giants. I kind of feel like some of those giant rookies. Silent Thunder. I am out of sleeves. That's not good. No, I'm one second. Yeah. Better. place now. At least I have the thick sleeves. I can switch them over later. Mm, oh yeah. Let's see. Oh, it depends on the player. I, oh, okay. I feel like all of them had the same name one box. Alright, still looking for that. Two on card autographs. Who will it be? I believe this is from the same case, so that would be a little weird if we get two Gavin Lux autos, but it would be nice. Oh, by the way, guys, I do have Inception Dunross mixed break. And I did say this, but that Inception is from the same case, and one out of four boxes have a patch auto. So I'm not saying it definitely has a patch auto, but we had two without a patch. 
So now you have a greater chance of that Inception box having a patch auto, that's all I'm saying. Rodriguez, Diamondbacks, Smith, Braves, Loriano, A's, Davies on the Padres, Mike Trout, um, the mini fortune teller card. Nice Mike Trout. Ryan O'Hearn. Trevor Story and Miggy Cabrera. So still, no autographs. This is kind of nice, nice for suspense. Guys, we had our 1,000 follower on Instagram giveaway today. If you're not following on Instagram, please consider it. There are some giveaways over there. Information. Here we go. Ben Attendi, Red Sox. Williams on the Pirates. Peralta on the Diamondbacks. Simeon on the A's. Padres, Martinez. Luis Robert on the White Sox. And Hoskins on the Phillies. Does someone have the White Sox? Yes. James O. James O on the White Sox. Congratulations, James O on the Luis Robert base. I think they actually do, Jim, but they're just kind of rare. They even make um, sleeves for minis. They're just not very common. Still looking for two on-card autographs. Was that James? Oh, or James White Sox? Was James... Oh! James O, who is a White Sox fan. James O. Guys, I oddly got my hands on... Um, Two Luis Robert signed bats. Uh, they do come with Beckett certification. I will have them in two days. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. For now, they're up for offers. Nick Solak on the Rangers. Javier Baez, Cubs. Keston Hira on the Brewers. The only problem with those bats is the shipping. is probably ridiculous. Luis Castillo. BCW doesn't. Aaron Null. I'll figure it out, Jim. I know I've seen them. <clears throat> Still, two. Uncard autographs. Likely one more serial number card. And chrome cards. And giveaways. Here we go. What will the autographs be? That sort of makes or breaks the box sometimes. Cindergaard door for the Mets. Bobby Bradley of the Indians. My underrated pick of the year. The Yankees. Kevin Newman. Pirates. Rays. Kepler on the Indians. Rookie of Murphy, the catcher of the A's, and Strasburg National still looking for two on-card autographs. <clears throat> Guys, basically 95% of all packages are out. So if you were waiting on some, you should be getting it. Going to the post office with large, very large, liter literal boxes. Paul DeJong, Nunez for the Rockies rookie card. Eloy Jimenez, second year card. White Sox. Here we have one for McKay. And one of the fortune teller cards. Nice to get it in rookie form. Yeah, he does look good. Harvey. On the Orioles, Muncie on the Dodgers, and Iglesias of the Orioles. Still not cool enough for Twitter. And still, there are two on-card autographs. I'm actually thinking about making a Twitter, though. <clears throat> 
Don't mess up the beginning now. Here we go, looking for those on-card autographs, hoping that it's in rookie form or a great player. <clears throat> Schwarber on the Cubs. Aaron Judge, he is an autograph possible. Hosmer on the Padres. Bueller. Bueller. Next fortune teller is another rookie, Dylan Cease. Garver on the Twins. Turner on the Red Nationals. And still no autograph. In what form? Autograph form? Or in general? No, I guess we do still have six cut six packs at least. Thank you for everyone watching. I am Rob the Shark of RTS Sports Cards. Feel free to spectate. Opening up 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen Hobby Box. We still have not hit the two on-card autographs. Here we go. We have a rookie of Jesus Lazardo. <clears throat> Rogers. Brendan. Oh, we have a blue card. So we'll bring that to the end. I don't know if it's going to be the autograph or uh, just a serial number card. But either way, hopefully nice. Bichette. Bo. And Dozier. Alright, so we'll leave that card there for now. Hopefully I can catch the... Jesus, how many packs do we have left? I feel like this is an unusually large box. Maybe I'm just used to Dunross, because Dunross is kind of small. <clears throat> I think so too, Lazardo. Nick Senzel. Here we have a rookie card for the Indians, a rookie card for the <clears throat> Blue Jays. Charlie, what did you ever do with your... Clear, did you win that or Gabe won the clear card? I forget. Willie Adamas. Go Rays. Wheel of Fortune Acuna. It's a nice looking card for the Braves. Chew. Rangers. There's a Lux base. We we found like three Lux base on ABQ SCNC's <clears throat> box the other night. Well, check the cards for Bazooka at the end. Again, these are thick uh, penny sleeves. We'll change them out later. Up for sale. <clears throat> All right, still looking for two on-card autographs. Why did the non-copyright music stop? Why is it Christmas music? <laughs> anyway. Here we go, Orioles, rookie card, Springer, Astros, Arias, Twins, rookie card, Alvarez, Jordan type, base. Kendrick, Nationals, Paxton, Yankees, Brandon Belt, Giants, and Soraka of the Braves. Did hit a Jordan base. I feel like every time I take a pack out, there's just more. Someone's playing like a magic trick on me. <clears throat> a good one. Here's more packs. Here we go. Cardinals, Astadio, 
Twins, David Price, Red Sox, Fletcher, uh, the Angels, Wheel of Fortune, Javier Baez, in the tarot card, Charlie Blackman, Rockies, Braun, isn't that a different Braun? Is that the same guy or? I don't know, confusing myself. Or is that an image variant? Kettle Marte. Yeah, it's just like I keep going to a pack and like another pack just arrives and it's like, oh, there's more. All right, now this has to be the last row, right? Yeah, okay, this is the last row. We're down to, we're down to three packs and two autos. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to end the break here and we're going to sell these on eBay. Uh, here we go. There are two on-card autographs, at least we hope. In these two packs. It's not one of those products where it's like on average. It's like usually pretty true. Or, well, actually the one autograph might be here. We keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that. Dylan Cease of the White Sox. Vasquez of the Red Sox. Brown on the A's rookie? Who's that dude? Seth Brown, okay. White Sox. Oh, there's definitely an autograph there somewhere. Okay. I saw congratulations. I didn't see a name. Duffy on the Royals. Marte and Grandal of the White Sox. So I definitely saw a backwards congratulations. So I'm guessing that first one is a serial number card. That one I just saw a piece of. Did not see the name or the team. It's definitely an autograph. So I had a one of these two packs is probably another autograph. Here we go. Cruz. Arietta, Phillies. Hernandez. Rangers. Rookie card of Wong for the Giants. Oh, there's the other auto. I did see it backwards. Okay, so we know where our autos are. Ravello. Cardinals. Dwight Jr. and Rodriguez, so we know where our autos are. I honestly did not see even a team or anything. Here we go, our last pack. It will not have an autograph in it, and probably will not have a serial number card in it. Here we go. Carlos Correa, Devers, Segura on the Phillies, Blake Snell, a mini of Nick Senzel, Matt Olson on the A's, Polanco on the Twins, and Davis on the Giants rookie card. Alright, let's see who our autographs are. All right, I'm going to go to the serial number card first because that means the blue is a serial number card and it is Keeney of the Angels should be to two something no 150 Andrew Heaney Andrew Heaney of the Angels congratulations Angels Nice serial numbered card, pretty low numbered, 150. And our autographs are. Okay, here's the first one. It is. I can't even see the name. Alright, that one's pretty decent. I'm going to hold that to the end because that might be the better one. That's a pretty good autograph. Not like mind blowing, that's pretty good. And the other autograph is. Aaron Saval of the Indians. Nice rookie on card autograph. Congratulations, Indians, if someone has them. Anyone have the Indians? 
Cleveland Indians. Yes, Eddie L. Congratulations, Eddie L. On the nice on-card rookie autograph. Let me sleeve that up real quick. And the last rookie is pretty good. We've pulled him in a different product. That's the long. And it is AJ Puck. A's pitcher AJ Puck on card rookie autograph. Very nice. AJ Puck, we pulled his autograph out of um, Topps Tribute, and we pulled his serial numbered rookie out of Topps Tribute. Congratulations, A's. AJ Puck. All right, guys, stick around. We do have a pretty decent amount of giveaways tonight. AJ Puck on card autograph. Pretty nice. All right, super quick review. We had the AJ Puck, probably the nice nicest card that we pulled. Yeah, unfortunately for Jim, traded out to the Baltimore Orioles. That's how it goes sometimes. Indians, rookie on card autograph. Serial number card for the Angels. Andrew Heaney, serial numbered. To 150. Let's see what else we had here. Had the Baez tarot card, the Alvarez base. We did have that Nick Senzel mini. Pulled the Bob Uh Juan Acuna tarot card. We did pull the Gavin Lux base. Dylan C's rookie card. Brendan McKay rookie card. Luis Robert. Robert, sorry, Luis Robert. Everyone wants to say Robert. Mike Trout mini. No name on the Blue Jays. TJ Zouch. Zouch. Corey Seeger, Giants. Serial numbered to 250. The Alvarez tarot card. The Hilliard Rockies card. And the, the Henderson shirt print. What's up, Dave? ABQ, SC, and C, Johnny Waldeck. Very nice, guys. Nice AJ Puck autograph. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. There are a pretty decent amount of giveaways tonight. Actually, what did I... Who had the Astros? No one had the Astros. I had the Astros, right? Marlins. All right, no one had the Astros. So we will give away... I will give away that Yordan. But we got a Yordan base, too. Oh, we got the Chrome cards, too, guys. Sorry. almost forgot about those. I swear we pull the yard on base. Maybe, maybe not. There we got those chrome cards. Yep, thank you, James. Almost forgot. Guys, I do have Dunross mixed with Inception. Like I said, there is a chance that... A greater chance that that Inception has a... Patch. Oh, look at this. Very nice. Serial numbered. Whit Merrifield for the Royals. Chrome and serial numbered. We'll check the number in a second. I did see the back here. So the Juan Soto on the Nationals. I love these cards. Man. Are they going to come out with Gypsy Queen Chrome? How come there's only three? Oh, there is only three. Oh! The Boba Shet! Boba Shet Chrome Rookie! 
Very nice. Who had the Blue Jays? Did they go and sold or something? Happened? Toronto Blue Jays did go unsold, but they nice Bo Bichette and the Whit Merrifield for the Kansas City Royals. Very nice chromes. And we will move on to giveaway time. Very nice Bo Chrome. Soto Chrome, Bo Chrome, Whit Merrifield to... Oh, we didn't check the number. 99! Very nice, 99 for the Royals. Soto, can never go wrong with a Soto. Unless it's the Karate Kid. Because Mr. Soto, I believe his name was Soto, was on the bad side, wasn't he? Maybe I'm just making that name off my head. Was it Karate Kid too? Mr. Soto was the bad guy? I don't know. Anyway, that nice Boba Shet. I think I might have to keep that one, guys. Alright, who had the Kansas City Royals? Uh, Whip Merrifield? Remember, we got a giveaway time coming up right now. Jeff H. on the Kansas City Royals serial number card. Very nice, Jeff H. Is it Jeff H. and Son tonight, or just Jeff H.? Alright, so that Yordan we will give away. Nice autographs there. Alright guys, we are going to giveaway time, actually. Let's give this Yordan away. Alright, someone give me a number from 1 through 7 will be the amount of times we randomize for the Yordan Alvarez tarot card. Three times, says Johnny Waldeck. We will do it three times. And I kind of don't want to give it away, but I'll give it away. Jordan Alvarez. Let me get the randomizer. Alright, here we go. Whoever's up top after three times will get the... We'll get the uh, Jordan. Three times. One. If it goes unsold, uh, I don't know, we'll think about it. Two. I mean, if it goes to an empty space. And here we go, number three. Boom, James J. Congratulations, James J. On the Jordan Alvarez Tarot World Card. Congratulations, James J. All right, someone else in the chat, or anyone in the chat, give me a number from one through seven. We will randomize. A couple people will get to pick envelopes. Anyone in the chat, give me a number from 1 through 7. I see 5 from Josie. Here we go. Here's what we're going to do. The top 2 people will get to pick envelopes. 1. 2. 3. 4. And 5. Jeff H. and James J. Jeff H. and James J. Hold on. I don't think I have them numbered, so hold on a second. Jeff H. and James J. James J. usually doesn't watch live, so someone's going to have to pick for him. Jeff H. and James J. Alright, I'll just consider them in order 1 through 5. Uh, James J., what number do you want? I'll just consider them in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because they are not numbered. J, uh, Jeff H, 1 through 5, and then someone will pick for James J. What number would you like Jeff H? One through five on Jeff H, and then someone pick a uh, one through five for James J, and as long as it's not the same number, we'll pick one for James J to keep this rolling. Four for Jeff H, and then what is James getting? 
One, two, three, or five. Anyone in the chat? One, two, three, or five for uh, James J. One for James. Okay. We'll do uh, James first since he's one. And then two on Joe Z. Here's number one for James. These aren't Shark Attack hitbacks, guys. These are just stuff. Alright. Here we go. James J gets... Couple cards. A Dunross card, a rookie, Matt Thass. Thass. Always forget that to say his name. Up to serial number to 100 out of 2020 Dunross. And a couple other Dunross cards. The blue refractor parallels that are only in hobby with a, a polar bear there. So, congratulations, James J. On envelope one. We will go to Jeff H. Jeff H. You know, it's funny. I'm seeing it, the bubble wrap in the background. This thing used to be the size of, uh, I don't know, like a manhole cover at least. All right. Jeff H. Envelope 2. What will Jeff H. get? I felt a couple cards fall. And you get... Oh, you get an autograph. You get a Mondesi autograph at a Dunross. Congratulations, Jeff H. And now Alberto Mondesi autograph as part of giveaways. And a couple of hodgepodge of cards here. Adonis Medina stat tracker card from 2019 Bowman Chrome. A chance at Adams Rainbow Refractor rookie card, a yellow Cole Irvin rookie card of the Phillies, a turkey red of Kevin Biggio, a polar bear Pete Alonzo, and a Joe Adele serial number 299 with Heston Kierstead on the other side. That's not a bad envelope there, uh, Jeff H. Congratulations on envelope number two. For Jeff H. with the Alberto Amandesi autograph. Alright guys, we got more autographs. So someone in the chat, give me a number from 1 through 7. And we'll give more stuff away. Just making sure there's nothing out. Was that the second autograph? I mean, second envelope? Feels like there's more in here. Wait, hold on. Two. Oh, that's because it's envelope number three. Duh. All right, seven times, Johnny Wolbeck says, seven times. Here's what we'll do, guys. The top two will get to pick an envelope. That will leave one envelope to not be taken. So we'll do it seven times, and two of you will get to pick envelopes. There will be a free spot given away. There will be a big deal. Seven times. Here we go. Best of luck to everyone. Top two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. If it goes to a blank spot, it has to stay blank. And seven. Top two are blank and Gabe. Gabe. Gets to pick an envelope. You kind of make up for that uh, almost free spot we were talking about earlier. Gabe, you get to pick an envelope. If Gabe is here, Gabe, three, four, or five. Envelope three, four, or five to Gabe. What envelope would you like? Three, four, or five? Envelope number four, so this was three. You're going to envelope four, which is right here. It feels light, Gabe. It almost feels like there's nothing in it. I hate to say. Let's see, is this, did I leave one empty? Ah! Gabe, you get... $10 cash! Congratulations, Gabe! $10 cash! 
That basically pays for your spot right there, Gabe. Congratulations. Ten dollars cash. One by Gabe. That, that makes your spot two dollars there, Gabe. Two dollars. Two dollars. If you didn't have a great break, then it was two dollars. <laughs> Welcome, Gabe. All right, guys. I'm gonna give away one more envelope, even though that uh. It did go up sold, so I tell you what, I'm just going to hit it one time. Whoever's up top will get to get an envelope. I'll keep doing it until whoever, someone comes up top and we'll give one more envelope away. Here we go. And then we'll have the big deal. Oh, that, okay, we'll do this. We'll give away a spot, and then we'll have the big deal. Here we go. Boom, and the envelope winner is Eddie L. Eddie L, are you still here? Saw you earlier, Eddie L. Eddie L, if you are still here, you get to pick an envelope. Eddie L, if you are here, you get to pick an envelope. Four or five. Eddie L, four or five. If you are still here, give me a number four or five. Eddie L, give you like 30 seconds to see if you're still here. Five, here we go. Five for Eddie L. Here we go. So this would be four. This is five right here. And Eddie L gets... Eddie L gets five bucks. How's that, Eddie? Five dollars cash there, Eddie L. Congratulations! Just brought your spot down. That is a crisp, fake five dollar bill. No, it's real. Five dollar bill, ten dollars on Gabe. Not bad there. Congratulations, Eddie L. Just cut your break spot down a little bit. <clears throat> All right, guys, we are going to play for a big deal. Uh, those that are not familiar. With the big deal, uh, someone's going to be randomized. That person is going to play for prizes and be tempted with bigger prizes and possible break spots. Oh, I am going to give a break spot away uh, right before that. Guys, just a quick reminder. Uh, we do have a break. I Here's what I listed as. We're going to do Friday or sold out. So if we sell that out before Friday, we'll break before Friday. It's going to be um, Dunross, 2020 Dunross, three guaranteed hits, mixed with an Inception box. Like I said, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but the first two boxes did not have a Relic Auto, and the Relic Autos are one in four boxes, so there's a greater chance of this possibly having a Relic Auto, which does have value. So the Inception, mixed with the Dunross, mixed with the giveaways, the prizes, the free spots, the big deals, that is 17. But like I said, there will be plenty of giveaways, free spots, big deal, the whole shebang. Um, I am going to try and run a break next week where it's just going to be like the box. So we'll see how that goes because it. I almost feel weird doing it but because uh, we so, we're so used to these giveaways. But uh, I'm going to try a box so it'll be cheaper, but no giveaways, no top 10, no prizes, no big deal. And we'll, we'll, we'll see what it feels like. Maybe some people like it, maybe some people hate it. All right, so Dunross and Inception, $17 with giveaways and a big deal. $17, message me on RTS Sports Cards, eBay, Facebook, or Instagram. We will break Friday no matter what. We will break before that if we sell out or come super close. We can break tonight. If you guys want to buy up a bunch of spots tonight, we will break tonight. Dunross and Inception, we can break tonight if we get super close to selling out. Okay, we have, we're going to give away a spot, and then we're going to do a big deal. Someone in chat, give me a number from 1 through 7. It'll be the amount of times we randomize for the free spot. Um, there's a lot. I'd have to look on my phone. But my guess is there's still 20 spots, is my guess, right around there. Maybe 15 to 21 spots. If, if, if anyone did want to pick up a couple spots, I mean, I'd have to see numbers like 5, 5, 3. And then I can definitely put that together tonight. Right after this, actually. All right, we're going to go three times. Whoever is in the top spot... Man, that looks terrible. I mean, visual is not strength of rts sports cards but that looks absolutely terrible all right three times whoever's up top will 
win an absolutely free spot into what I just talked about, Dunross and Inception. Now, if the spot up top is blank, it must remain no one's going to win it because I factored into the cost with selling 30 spots. So here we go. Three times and the top spot will win if it's blank. Unfortunately, it does have to go unsold. Just consider that it went to someone else. Here we go. One. Two. Here we go one more time. Whoever is up top. And... Three, and the winner, unfortunately, does go to an unsold spot, but hopefully you guys can understand that. It was made with 30 full spots, so someone would have won if it sold out, but I didn't sell out, so I didn't get the full payment on the box, but no big deal. Oh, we do have to go to the big deal, though. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to hit it one time. Whoever's at the top will play for the big deal. If there's no one in the top spot, I will keep going till someone gets there, but they will play for a small deal. How's that? This will be for the big deal. If there is someone on top, I'm going to hit it one diamond. Here we go. And who will play for the big deal? Boom. Wild card breaks. Now, <laughs> wild card breaks. Did you happen to make it over? Wild card breaks won this. What did he win this for? The the thousand Instagram follower thing? I think that's where he won it from. So I'll tell you what guys, here's how it's gonna work. If Wild Card Break shows up, obviously he's gonna play. You guys are gonna play for Wild Card Breaks. If he contacts me in 24 hours, he's going to win whatever it is. If he does not contact me in 24 hours, even though this break will technically be done, I will come on live randomly. I mean, I gotta, I'll let you guys know and redo a big deal and give you guys another chance at a big deal. So for now, wild card breaks, did you happen to show up? For now, you guys are going to play for wild card breaks. Here is the decision for wild card breaks. You guys can give wild card breaks. I think he won it. I think he was the winner of the thousand giveaway got hit to a thousand followers on instagram i think that's where he won it okay you guys are gonna let me know for wild card breaks and like i said if he does not contact me in 24 hours i will give you guys another shot even though the break will be over should wild card breaks take the envelope he was the winner right um that's right he was the winner of the 1000 uh, should he take this envelope? This is the last envelope to be taken. Should he take what's in there? I believe it's this one or that one. It's been changed out from the last prize. Should he take the tin? Should he take the envelope? Or should he take... A one in two shot at the Dunross Inception break spot. I will take majority rules from the chat. Should he take the envelope? Should he take the tin? Or should he have a one and two at a break spot? Envelope, tin, or a one and two at the break spot? I see tin so far. Envelope. I see Dunross, so I'm assuming he means break spot. What's up, Grants Breaks? You and uh, Jeff H. will be tomorrow night. Actually, if you want, guys, since you're both here, I could do that tonight. Tin. I got two for tin. Anyone else? Last second to weigh in. Should he take the tin? Should he take the envelope? Or should he go for the spot in Dunross? 
you guys are deciding for wild card breaks who won this spot in the 1000 follower giveaway on instagram please consider following me on instagram as you can win free stuff and i do post announcements on there and can usually be reached there pretty easily to say hey rts what's up hey rts I'd like 27 spots in your next break. You know, stuff like that. Eddie says the tin. I think we're going tin here. Tin, tin, tin. Dunross tin. Okay, tin rolls. So. I tell you what we're going to do, guys. We're going to give wild card breaks the tin. Paul K, are you wild card breaks by any chance? Paul K, you're not wild card breaks, right? That was his Instagram name, so I don't know what his YouTube name is. Alright, guys. <clears throat> Here we go. We're gonna here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give Wild Card Breaks the 10. Okay, no problem, Paul K. Just make it sure, because we're, we're waiting on a person. I'm going to give Wild Card Breaks the 10, okay? I'm going to give him whatever's in the 10, and then I'm going to give him a free 1 and 2 shot at the break spot. That's what's going to happen. Like I said, guys, if he does not contact me in 24 hours, everyone in the break will be re-eligible for a thing. And then, yeah, um, Joe Z and Jeff H., if you want to stick around, I will randomize for that other spot. Here we go. What's in the tin? It's either in this tin or that tin. I don't think there was anything great, if I remember correctly. Eh, there's a couple cards. A couple cards. Oh, there's a relic. A couple cards, a relic. There's a blue parallel of Gary Carr, Jesus, Zarda, Raider, Rookie, a Polar Bear to 999, a Trout to 200. Actually, that's pretty good. And uh, Albert Pujols relic. So actually, not too bad in there. And he's going to get a free one and two shot. That trout's pretty nice. Free one and two shot at the break spot. So he might get two breaks as part of the 1,000 followers. And I can reveal the envelope. Here we go, guys. Let's see. He's going to have a one and two shot. Um, guys, again, we do have that Dunross Inception break. Again, that Inception box might be pretty good. Not guarantee anything, but you have a better percentage shot of it being a Relic Auto. Here we go. We're going to go to random.org. And again, guys, you'll all be eligible if he does not claim his prize. How many times on the randomizer? Anyone in chat? I'll see the first one win or lose for the spot. First one I see. Anyone in chat? Number one through seven. Anyone in chat? Give me a number from one through seven. We'll see if Wild Card Breaks ends up getting two free spots. Three times. Here we go. Three times. It does have to go win on the top line. Here we go. Three times. One. Two. And. Three. Unfortunately, he will not get the free spot, but he will get to keep the tin if he contacts me in 24 hours. As you see, three times it does say lose there. Okay, guys, that will conclude the break. Again, if he does not contact me in 24 hours, I will get you guys an extra randomizer. Jeff H. and Joe Z, if you want to randomize for that free spot, we could do that now. Guys, I was RTS. I was Rob the Shark of RTS Sports Cards. I was 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen. We usually have giveaways with all our breaks. Uh, a big deal item. Sometimes there's PSA cards that win at the end. And that is all included in the price of the break. Uh, we do have Dunross and Inception, and I put either Friday or uh, Sellout. So if you guys want to do this, I doubt we'll do it tonight, but if you guys want to fill that up tonight, we could do it tonight. 
hoping to see a nice patch auto hopefully out of that we're gonna randomize between Joe Z and Jeff H now you guys were second and third now unfortunately the next break is seventeen dollars so it wouldn't make sense to get into that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you in the next break that's around ten to twelve dollars I don't have it listed yet but it'll be something the equivalent of Gypsy Queen uh, Josie and Jeff H. All right, whoever says it first, Josie or Jeff H. How many times am I hit the, hit the randomizer? Whoever's up top will win that next free break spot again. It will be to a future break spot, um, something equivalent of Gypsy Queen, something like that, either a Gypsy Queen or two boxes of uh, I don't know, something along those lines. Ten to twelve dollar break credit, something like that. All right, how many times am I hitting that randomizer, Joe Z? Oh, and I didn't pick out a card for third. Um, I don't know, I, I, instead of taking the time, I'll do it five times. But instead of taking that, I'll, uh, we'll find you. Whoever comes in third, I'll talk to you. We'll get you like a five, ten dollar card for third place. So no losers. You got top three. Second, I'll get a break spot equivalent about ten, twelve dollars. Third, I'll get a card, maybe five, ten dollars ish. Here we go, five times. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Whoever's up top after this will win the break spot. Third will win the COD. Boom. Joe Z, Joe Z will get the spot. Jeff H, I'll talk to you. We'll get you like a five, ten dollar card. We'll figure out something for you, something nice. All right, guys, that concludes the break. Really appreciate you getting in. Uh, guys, again, Dunross and Inception with giveaways and a big deal and free spots. We will do Friday at the very latest. Uh, yeah, congratulations, Joe. And Jeff will get you something. <clears throat> Maybe a nice serial number Dodgers card or something. Um, take care, Grant. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, hobby and Inception Friday or sold out guys um, Guys give, give me some feedback either now or anytime on Instagram eBay or Facebook. I'm kind of torn right now what to order um, I'm a little scared to get tribute because obviously tributes gone up and tributes like $400 I don't want to be getting it if uh, people aren't wearing, willing to get in, you know, probably like $19 a spot, something like that. Um, on the tribute, um, if you guys want to break some more Gypsy Queen next, you know, in the next couple days, let me know. Take care of feeling those breaks. Thanks for stopping by. I was actually literally looking through uh, my collection the other day. I believe you said you're the Yankees fan, right? And uh, I was packing your stuff up and looking for a Yankees card for you, actually, right before this break. Anyway, um, let guys, let me know what you're interested in breaking, or if you want a combo of something, or let me know, you know, because um, I'm about to order next day or two. I'm kind of torn deciding what to get. Heritage? We could do Heritage. If people are interested in Heritage, we could do it. <clears throat> the one thing I don't like about Heritage is no, no guaranteed auto. Uh... That's the one thing I don't like about Heritage. Could be a relic. We could mix Heritage with something. Heritage and something else. And again, uh, Dunross, Inception, giveaways, and big deal, free spots. All that together. I mean, um, I, th I think I'll have that, uh, couple of those PSA 10, 10 cards by then. So you can hit a big deal and hit a PSA card worth forty fifty dollars, and that's on top of whatever you get in the Dunross box. Like I said, there might be a better chance now of that autograph in Inception being a relic auto. Um, never know. I guess the percentages have gone up because the first two didn't. It says one out of four boxes, so I don't know. Logic would tell you it's a one and two shot. <clears throat> Guys, uh, really appreciate everyone getting the break, hanging out. A lot of fun. Um, like I said, everyone's like 90% of packages are out, so uh, shouldn't be too long on the sorting of this stuff. 
and luckily it's not a huge, huge set. Um, what else? I had a couple other announcements. Let's see. Oh, the giveaway for... Remember in April, once a week there are giveaways in April on the RTS Sports Cards YouTube page. There will be a video going up either tonight or tomorrow that says giveaways for 420. Uh, 20. And just follow the instructions in the video. And we will randomize on April 20th. And it's usually like free spots or cabs or something like that. So be sure and get in that. Be sure you're subbed to RTS Sports Cards YouTube. Be sure and consider following on RTS Sports Cards Instagram. I am RTS Sports Cards on eBay. I do not have a Twitter yet, but I'm highly considering getting a Twitter because I hear it's all the rage 10 years ago. All right, guys, you have a great night. If for some crazy reason you guys want to fill up Dunross, start itching the break, message me. I don't know if we can get one to get it together tonight, but, um, you know, I, I will break it any time this week. If not, I will break Friday no matter what, even if we do not sell a single other spot. We will break Friday. All right, guys, you're welcome. Have a great night. Hi, right, Jim. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for getting in. Thanks for helping out. Charlie, always good seeing you. Thanks for every, uh, Joe. Uh, Jeff H, uh, some of the new guys, we'll see if Wildcard Breaks comes in. Don't forget, guys, you still might win something big if Wildcard Breaks doesn't come in. So, never know. All right, guys, have a great night. I'll see you soon, hopefully, for the next break, if not Friday. Friday. I'm sure, Cal. If I can hit the end button. <laughs> Apparently... It's not sensitive with the glove.